I'm Simply Sherry. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. So it's about 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. I'm thinking of doing a live stream once a month with just me. And then a second time in the month, I will be having a guest. And I actually have three guests in line starting November, December, and then I have one in February. I might still look for one for January, or I might just do two lives by myself. Uh, so today, uh, we're going to talk about overcoming overwhelm to start getting organized. And I came up with this topic um, because I took a poll three weeks ago, and I, I did a little poll like for the last three weeks, and then I finally came up with an idea. I wasn't taking a poll in order to do a live stream. I was just taking a poll just to find out where, um, where people we're feeling like they're at. I took this poll, what's your biggest obstacle right now in getting organized? And you can see that 115 people voted. And so for me, I was like, man, the thing that stops me from getting organized a lot of times is uh, time constraints. So sometimes I put out these polls and I think, oh, this is what people are feeling or you know, uh, what's going on in their lives right now, but it's not. And it came out to overwhelmed in general, 43%. So that's about, let's see, 115 votes times 43 percent that's like 50 people are just overwhelmed in general and it just really made me think huh that's that's really interesting um that one i was completely wrong in thinking what people were feeling and then just thinking about what is it like to just be overwhelmed in general and so then my second poll with 103 votes here you see is if you are not feeling overwhelmed in general would you be able to organize a space in your home 68 percent of 103 votes said yes they would be able to get organized if they were not feeling overwhelmed okay what are you overwhelmed about that is hindering you from organizing a space in your home and i thought it would be finances because that's what overwhelms me almost all the time and so what i realized i'm like you know what i don't typically get overwhelmed with my day-to-day -day schedule one is because um i've been uh honing how to do my daily schedule since I was in college, because in college I was forced to. In high school, you just kind of go with the flow. You know, you got to go to class all day. Then maybe you have extracurriculars. You go home for dinner, do your homework. And it's kind of the same uh, schedule most of the time. But when college comes around, you just kind of have this open schedule. You can go to class or you cannot go to class and et cetera, right? And when we work, it does force us to, let's say, uh, go to work at a certain time and leave at a certain time. And so there's things that are naturally built into our schedule that forces us to stick to it, right? But then when you're working from home like me, I do have a job and I do work from home. It forces you to either be totally not scheduled and the overwhelm creeps in, or it forces you to really hone those skills. And so what I've seen in my life is that I've honed that skill and I want to share that with you today as one way of really overcoming overwhelm. Okay, the first tip is create a daily schedule. There's so many ways to create your schedule, okay? You could do it hard copy. Like right now, I'm in this kick of the happy planner, okay? So I have this, okay? And I actually have the, the box layout, uh, vertical layout, I think. There's also online, so I do keep some of my schedule online, but that's that's not the point. Okay, the point isn't whether should you do hard copy, soft copy, should it be on a wall, um, there by your launch pad or command center as you go out the door, should it be on the side of your fridge? Okay, those little details is not, um, we're, that's jumping steps. The first step is to really think about your schedule. Okay, a schedule is a plan for carrying out a process or procedure, giving lists of intended events and times. Okay, similar words are plan, program, timetable. When we are doing this live stream, I really want you to think about yourself, okay? To put yourself first, to, to really practice that muscle of self-awareness. Because when you really become self-aware of your how you tick how you work how your brain processes things then that really is kind of per what i see the the foundation of uh many things but one of them is getting organized because 
you're not getting organized for me. Organization is really about caring about yourself and your environment. And I, I really believe that. And you know, I'm sure many of you here on this live stream, you know what it's like when your house is a little bit chaotic or maybe it's in complete chaos, it's hard to think. It's hard to, it's it's more challenging to function. It's, it's, um, it's a more of an uphill climb to just do regular things and that's what we want to really hit today.